In this lecture, we are going to learn how to pass data between siblings. There are three methods to pass data between siblings and each has their own advantages. In the first method, we pass the data in a dictionary structure. Let's suppose you have few React components, each component connected with each other. So to pass data to siblings, you need to pass data to the parent component. Then the first child of the parent passes that data to the second child component and so on. The data then will be have to be pushed and pulled through each middle level. In the second method, we use React Context API to pass data through siblings. The major advantage of Context API is that you save the developer from property drilling. So what is property drilling? Or you can say prop drilling. Prop drilling refers to the technique of passing down variables to the subcomponents. The main idea of functional programming where you can pass the parents to the next function and so on. In the parent to child component example, we have done the same thing. We pass down the variables to the subcomponent. But there is a better way to do this. So using this second method, we understand how to use context API in React application. But for now, let's understand the example of property drilling. Or you can say prop drilling. Let me create a simple example of prop drilling. I'm going to create a new file inside this app and specify a name to it drilling.js. And then I'm going to create here a functional component. So I'm going to say here React functional component like this. And let me just add this inside my index.js just like this. Save this file back to the drilling.js. Close this child to parent. And here, let me just create a few components and show you how the property drilling work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two childs of this parent. Let me just create here a comment parent. This is a parent component. So I'm going to add here a comment parent. This is the first child and this is the second child. Let's start from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to first create here second child. I'm going to name this child constant final is equal to and I'm going to just pass here props like this and pass here curly braces. So this will create a simple final functional component. You can notice how easy it is to create a functional component in React. I'm going to specify name to this component final and pass property to it. I'm going to just return a single statement with this component. So instead of this curly braces, I can pass here parentheses like this. So this will just return a single statement with this functional component. So here I'm going to simply say paragraph and inside this paragraph I'm going to pass curly braces and here I'm going to say props dot bar and to this bar I'm going to say props dot foo. Let me explain this statement now. I'm going to first create a method bar and to this method I'm going to pass parameter props dot foo. I'm going to first get the value from the parent component to this method and then get the value to this parameter. If you want, you can just pass here a value as well, like this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get the value from the parent component. So I'm going to say here props.foo. Just for that, let me create my first child. So here I'm going to create a constant variable to create a new component and say here next is equal to create here props and pass here arrow and pass a parenthesis. Because I'm returning only one statement, I can use here parenthesis. Here I'm going to pass this final component. So I'm going to say here arrow, final. And to this final, as you know, I have two properties. One is the method and second is the foo property. Let me pass value to it. So here I'm going to simply say foo is equal to, in the curly braces, I'm going to say props dot foo. So I'm going to get the value from the parent component. That is why I'm going to just pass here props dot foo. Just for that, here I'm going to say bar is equal to and I'm going to just pass value to this method. So inside this curly braces, I'm going to say props dot bar. I'm going to get value from the parent component. So I'm going to just pass here props dot bar and props dot foo. And then at the end, I'm going to use this next inside this parent. At the top, here I'm going to simply say next. Let me close it and here I'm going to pass value to both these properties to this foo and to this bar. So I'm going to first specify here foo is equal to I'm going to say here nick and to this bar I'm going to specify a function because as you know this is a type of function. So I'm going to pass here function inside this curly braces. So here I'm going to call a function an arrow function just like this 
and in the backtick operator i'm going to say how are you let me save this file and execute it when i reload the browser you can notice i'm going to have how are you as a response now what i want i want to print this full value as well oops i think i misspelled here what i want i want to print this full value inside this function as you can notice here we pass here props dot foo to this bar method now i can access this property using this parameter of this handler function let me show you if i pass here input and if i just call here dollar and in the curl braces if i say here input let me save this file as you can see i have the value of this foo variable if you want you can specify any name to this parameter that doesn't matter but just notice we are accessing this value in the parent component now let me explain how did i get this value inside this function now when you execute your program it will first execute this parent component to this parent component i have here two properties foo and bar i'm going to initialize this foo property with this value and bar property with this function so when react call this next component it will first initialize both these properties you can notice here and pass that to this final component and inside this final component i'm going to just print a paragraph and inside it i'm going to just call this bar method this one and pass property to it props dot foo so as you know inside this foo i have this unique value so i'm going to just pass that inside this final component now when i call this component using this statement i can access this value using a parameter i don't need to pass any value to this parameter because i already have it right here so i can access this nick value inside this handler function so this is what we call a property drilling or you can say prop drilling we are drilling the property to the child component in react so as i said in the first method to pass data between siblings you pass data to the parent component and then the first child of the parent passes that data to the second child and so on in the second method we use the react context api and in the third method we use the global store maintaining the state of all child component which are needed to interact and consume the data required from a store in this method we're going to learn how to use redux in the react application we will look at all about redux in detail in the future lectures this example is only introduction of context api and redux you don't have to worry about both this topic we're going to take a look at the context api and the redux in detail in the future lectures so next we're going to understand the first method of passing data with dictionary order